I said, I'll wait a way, Brittany, and go back to work for you. You put her in charge of the subway, and you saw Bobby Joe from Duffy and Ann Karen C. from the subway. I said, that's the only way I'd let my daughter come back in there and work for you, and you'd have to give her a $10 raise. <laughs> And I said, if you offered her a million dollars, I'd probably bust you in the fucking mouth today, man. <laughs> I said, she ain't coming back to work for you. I said, that girl's 16 years old, and you ain't got nothing but a bunch of goddamn wimps in there fucking working that don't know how to run a business. And they're still there working for him, eating his fucking money up. And he's too dumb to fucking know. I'm going to perch. I should have even got him. <laughs> Man, I hate that Haynes, mate. I can't stand that money from you, son of a bitch. The only thing, like I say, now, I don't have nothing against him because I hate. He, I mean, you know, when I work, I don't hate no brother, but I hate him. He, 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 I, I tell you who, I thought he wouldn't give you a dollar if you made it today and was crawling up something because of it. Yeah, I don't know about that part, but. <laughs> I know, listen, now, you talking about somebody all the way to get along with it. Baby. This is enough. Or, she was, they had a Christmas party up here, back in the chapel, and we was up here, one of the guys went up and asked her to dance. They were doing karaoke and everything. She looked at him and told him, I don't dance with the hell. He said, I don't mingle with the hell. That was she and that bitch come from a poor family. That's, That's what it's saying, man. Well, who had the money to go to that? That's that money. Well, they had that because of him. Yeah, I know. But she only did enjoy it. Yeah, but I heard that. Uh,